So, my dear friends, my dear gods, my dear masters, today the part of spiritual wisdom will be knowing the wonderful wisdom that is power, pyramid power and benefits of pyramid meditation. So, let's learn about this uh, the wonderful spiritual wisdom today. Right. Especially, friends, the pyramid, the world itself, in the world, in the pyramid, there are two words Pyra plus mid. Okay, Pyra plus mid. What is Pyra? It's called fire. Mid means in the middle. Okay. So in this particular structure, what will happen is in the middle of that particular structure, so, so called pyramid, so there will be a lot of fire. What is the fire means? A lot of energy. So fire nothing but energy. So a lot of energy will be there in the middle. So that is the kind of structure is called pyramid. So friends, whenever we say pyramid, the word we, so once we hear the pyramid, we try to remind, remind ourselves about the Egypt pyramid. Isn't it? The Egypt pyramid. So, especially the friends, Egypt pyramid, <coughs> which is constructed near about 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago, they are constructed. Who are constructed? It is constructed by the other the other worlds, like the higher worlds uh, masters, or uh, the higher worlds, the experts. Especially, we can say Pleiadians. They are Pleiadians, like, you know, aliens, we say, right? Aliens, and we used to say. From the different planets they come, they came here, they have constructed this pyramid. Otherwise, it is highly impossible for a human being to construct so-called. No such kind of technology exists, friends. Just for an example, I'll tell you. This pyramid is, pyramid is constructed in 13 acres. The pyramid's base is about 760 feet. The pyramid height is about 480 feet. So to the 480 feet, Generally, what happened is in this pyramid construction, they have used each each stone is about two ton. Okay, two ton. So, how do we lift this two ton, two ton weight of the stone to the, to the height of the 480 feet? Imagine. Okay. At the same time, so how do we bring this kind of uh, big stones from which which place they have brought it? That is also questionable. So the current day technology also cannot support this kind of construction. Okay, right. So if you think like this. This is a wonderful structure, this is so-called a sacred structure, it is a stable geometry, sacred geometry, so on the earth planet. This is constructed exactly on the equator line. You know one thing, equator line is passing through the Egypt, okay. So what is the equator line? It divides the earth into two parts, the left, 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 uh, left hemisphere, left off, right off. Okay, left port, left half and right off. So it divides exactly the earth into two parts. So, on the equator line, this particular pyramid is constructed, especially it is designed, it is well designed by Almighty in such a way that in order to protect the earth, you know, from the so-called, so much damage is happening on the earth, right? So, already the human being itself is, you know, doing a lot of destruction to the earth itself. So, earth, earth energy also gets weakened. So, as go on, we do a lot of, you know, lot of ravage. So, a lot of uh, so uncontrolled the damage we are doing for the environment and uh, especially for the earth also, for the soil also. So, human being is doing a lot of pollution basically. So, in order to protect, you know, protect the earth from all these uh, so-called dangers, upcoming dangers, what uh, exactly they have done is this pyramid is constructed on the equator line so that it is balanced. It is balanced and it can continue living for quite any amount of time. Right, for a for so long time it can survive. The earth can survive because earth also. See, for example, friends, all of us, what we need to survive, we need to survive. We, if you want to survive, we need energy. What energy? Cosmic energy, pranic energy, whatever you say, breath energy. Right. So that is the energy we need. Without that energy, friends, you can't survive on this earth planet. Even if you don't eat food, I can stay for ten days. If I don't drink water, I can stay for three days. If I if at all if I stop the breath, I can't stop, I can't survive, right? Isn't it? So th that means the breath energy is the pranic energy. Similarly, this is almost like you know similar to the cosmic energy. Even if you receive the cosmic energy in, during the deep sleep or during the meditation, in both only two instances, this cosmic energy will be coming to our physical body. Number one, that is in the deep sleep. So number two. That is in the is especially second time when when we receive the cosmic energy is through meditation. So through meditation, friends. Especially the meditation, if you do again inside the pyramid, that is where you receive three times more cosmic energy, isn't it? So that's how friends we need to understand. 
So it means this energy is more important for us. Without energy, we can't survive. For example, if I don't sleep in the night time, in any day, any day for any given day, if I don't sleep in the night time, what happens? The next day, if I woke up, I don't have energy at all. So what I should do then? I can't do the work also. I can't do the work. I have no enthusiasm to do the work. I have no enthusiasm to be compassionate. So when you don't have any energy to be compassionate, we have, we, we don't have any energy to work, you know, to work on the particular given day, then you are not called as a healthy person. You are called as an unhealthy person, my dear friends. So that is why. So what we need? We always need the energy. We always need to reach out the physical body. Especially friends, the sleep is the one, sleep is a gift given by nature to the human being. So when you don't have proper sleep in the night time, especially friends, next day you can't work. Your work will be definitely hampered, isn't it? So if you want to work, you know, very thoroughly and having great amount of energy, you have to sleep properly in the night. So in the night, in the deep sleep, especially in the night, midnight, somewhere around 1, 2 o'clock, you get a deep sleep. So that point of time, nobody should miss, okay? Even if you, you know, if at all, you're already meditating, you're already meditating. What happens in the meditation? If you go into the deep sleep, in the deep deep meditation, what happens? You receive a lot of cosmic energy, isn't it? So that means we we, we have an equation. One, one hour of deep meditation is equal to six hours of sleep. But the deep meditation, it means that one hour should be completely, utterly silent. It means utterly empty. Your mind is completely empty. If you are able to do that, that means that one hour of that that sort of uh, deepest meditation state is equal to six hours of sleep. Even the six hours of sleep, friends, if you sleep also, you receive the cosmic energy only for one hour. You don't get more than one hour. Is that it? So why? How do? How does? How does you get this cosmic energy? How do you get the cosmic energy in the sleep time? What will happen is whenever you go into the deep sleep, so without knowing you, right? You are unco you are unconsci unconsciously, you know, just you are lying down on the bed or whatever, whatever. So that point of time, you don't have conscious mind. You only subconscious mind working still, isn't it? So what will happen is with the help of subconscious mind, knowing to subconscious mind, unknowing to conscious mind. Okay, one uh, one particular activity happens. That is, you release your astral body out of you. So the astral body, once it is released out of you, it goes to the other other planes of existence, different locals, different frequencies. It will go, and it will go and meet all his uh, ancestors. And uh, the before uh, you know, before some time they passed away. They are all existing in the other worlds, higher worlds. Uh, already we discussed. That is Bhuloka, that is our Bhuloka, then Bhuvanloka, Suvanloka, Janaloka. So that, that is the place where it will try to travel to the, especially the uh, astral world, it will travel. Then after Kazar world, it will travel and it will meet a lot of his uh, ancestors and a lot of his uh, relatives and uh, the great masters, whoever it may be. So he will meet everybody and then that is, that is called astral universe, isn't it? So in the, in the night time, it happens. Without you, without knowing you, it happens. But for all that, you know, subconscious mind will help. Okay, with the help of subconscious mind only, you are you are especially the astral body released out of you, isn't it? So it will go to the astral universe. It sucks the that means it receive it receive lot of you know, cosmic energy. It receive lot of cosmic energy while coming back. Secondly, it also receive lot of information, lot of uh, training, lot of knowledge from all his near and dear ones and soul family and the great masters. It does all these things. So to, togetherly, all these two things, it will bring back to the, so, to, to the physical body. That means whenever you wake up, what happens? Sometimes whenever you wake up, you get sudden jerk, isn't it? So generally you will be sleeping. You know, you'll be sleeping in a deep sleep. Sudden jerk will come sometime. So what is the meaning of it? That means at that point of time, your so-called astral body suddenly enter into your physical body. Then the jerk will happen, isn't it? Some people have, some people might have more noticed this all, all the time, or sometimes you know, everybody will come across this kind of experience, isn't it? So friends, so likewise, so what we need to understand here is the source of energy. The energy is primarily important for us. Okay, everywhere, wherever the energy is, you know, like widely available, wherever the energy is prevalently available, we should spend more time there. For example, go to the garden park, you get a lot of energy. 
Why do you get a lot of energy? In the park, especially in that area, you get a lot of so-called negative ions. Especially if you go into the busy traffic, you get positive ions. So in the negative ions in the park, in the garden, in the forest, they won't suck the energy from you. In fact, they give extra electrons to your physical body so that you know by receiving the extra electrons from the atmosphere of a park or trees or a garden or a forest, what happened? You feel energized, you feel refreshed. You, 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 you know, definitely you will feel like refreshed and re replenished and you are recharged also. So such is the thing happens. That's why you're almost like in the park and garden and forest, you'll be so happy, so pleasant also. Your mind is also so pleasant, isn't it? So that's the reason. So friends, like this, spend your more time nearby the river, riverside, at least, you know, three to four months or three to six months. Once definitely you have to go to the sea. You have to go to the sea, just, you know, you have to touch your, you know, total your uh, feet, feet more than, you know, more than the knees, especially up to the thighs, you know, the water has to touch the physical body. So at the same time, the waves, uh, the like, you know, a lot of uh, the so-called uh, uh, breezing, breezing happens from the sea, isn't it? From the breathing from the happens from the sea, so that all what will happen is it will clean your aura. It will clean your aura because it's a the sea itself is having the lot of you know so many elements are there with it. It's aura, especially the sea aura. We go and sit in front of the sea. What happened? That aura will cleanse us. That aura will cleanse us. That is why. So try to visit, try to visit at least once or twice in the year to the seashore. So if what you can just take a dip also, that's not a problem. But definitely it is going to if you are, you know, clean your aura. It's much, much helpful, friends. At the same time, let's say in the house, in our family, so our elders, what they do? They take, you know, fire. They try to do the drishti. Isn't it? They do the drishti. So why it will happen like that? Because that is an energy. That's a fire energy. If they do the drishti with the fire energy, what will happen? All your negative aura will be definitely vanished and then it is corrected. And then you regain the original condition. So this is how it happens, friends. That is why. So what I'm trying to say is here, the energy is primarily highest importance in our life. Not the food, not the, you know, the kind of food, different food, different foods we take, then we get a lot of energy. Many, many people are confused. Many people are mislead. What is that exactly they, they think? If I take more food, I get more energy. No. If you get, if you, if you eat more, more food, more than required food, you fall sick. What is the reason? Because you take more than required food, so what it does is it is give it's going to give a lot of load to your digestion system. What what your digestion system is, it is going to your it is going to use your own bodily energy to digest whatever you keep on giving through mouth. It is not it is not good. Whatever you require, sufficiently you take for a for a particular one time, you take sufficient food. Next mid mid day, mid day you should take whatever required. The evening uh, before, you know, before sunset, basically, otherwise at least 7, 8 o'clock, you should take whatever minimal required. You should not over it. Okay. Overeating and, you know, oversleeping, all this, what will happen is it will contribute to the so called obesity trends. So that is why. So be, be careful about this, especially the energy will come from the cosmos, always, always worse. To the, and also the energy comes from so whatever the you eat you know like uh, the green food what are all all the green food whatever it may be green vegetables green uh, so called uh, the, the, of course the fruits also will give it will add up uh, some pranasakti but other than that you know the all the spinaches all these things whatever the green things you take green leaves green vegetables all these things whatever you take you get a lot of pranasakti that's why plant based food is very very important in order to get more energy that is one way the good sleep, good meditation, very good meditation. And the third one is pyramid. Okay. So that is the that is the source of what the what what, a, what the pyramid does. The pyramid supply cosmic energy. Right? Friends. So that is why the source of energy to our survival is cosmic energy. So try to remember this. Not only us on this earth planet, whatever you see, all the all the life beings, okay, any life being. In order to survive, what should be there? Cosmic energy. Without cosmic energy, friends, not even even the sun. Sun operates with the cosmic energy. Isn't it? Sun operates with the cosmic energy. Moon operates with the cosmic energy. Earth operates with the cosmic energy. And the, all the 
birds and animals and trees they all they all will operate with the cosmic energy even the water including i, I tried to explain in the previous classes the water also has got life force in it and we we also have a lot of prana shakti within us isn't it the prana shakti within us it has to be you know, quite often it has to be recharged why it has to be recharged like you know mobile so a mobile we use from day morning to evening right it get discharged then what you need to do you need to plug in in the night similarly what we do is the throughout the day from morning to evening morning to night we keep working my friends we keep working means we lose lot of energy then what you to do you have to plug in you have to plug in and recharge what is the method of plugging one natural method is go into the deep sleep second method is go into the deep meditation so one is unconscious another is conscious so that is why meditation is meditation is a conscious sleep and the sleep is a unconscious meditation that's what we need to understand okay right so now friends so this particular pyramid power has to be used all the time so especially friends sar billod guru ji subramarsi patri ji in 1990s he has done a great experiments on the pyramid so what happened is in one you know, on one particular given day right he got one book into his hand right so that is the secrets of power the secrets power of pyramids right by bill sul so that is the author name so he come across that book when he come across that book he has gone through the book and then you you could find lot of you know lot of things many of the experiments has been done by that particular scientist so as it as it done lot of experiments all that is written there same experiments have been conducted by our guru ji also he has conducted lot of experiments and he found that there is quite difference the huge difference right from the normal things to the the pyramid structure right so he made a cardboard pyramid with a you know with a cardboard he has made a pyramid in the house and under that he is to keep some tomato or vegetables then he is to observe putting one tomato out in the other side outside and putting one tomato or vegetable inside this particular pyramid then when he compared after 10 days or something right the other ones outside they start decaying decaying but the ones which are inside the pyramid which are fresh okay likewise friends so likewise he understood the purpose he, he understood the power of the pyramid so it means what happen anything you keep in the pyramid it will keep intact it won't damage okay the longevity of that particular the anything it can be a part it can be a physical being like a human being or it can be any animal being whatever it may be so it it is it is there under the pyramid obviously it will survive for long time friends even things you want to preserve for example you don't want to you want you don't want to get it damaged keep under the pyramid for example in the house you have a tray you have grapes you have vegetables you have fruits all this right so if you have one pyramid maybe two by two pyramid you can keep everything inside that instead of keeping in the refrigerator so refrigerator is harmful for the health as you know but we use this because we have no alternative but pyramid is the best alternative friends pyramid is the the best alternative with which you can preserve everything inside the pyramid i'm telling you you can preserve everything so likewise friends when so our guru ji came to know about all this then what he did is so in uh, especially in 1990 he has started the movement pyramid spiritual society movement okay after that after he started the first pyramid which is constructed in karnur the town karnur uh, near hyderabad is the part of andhra pradesh right so that is where the first pyramid what he constructed is buddha pyramid so buddha pyramid so the buddha buddha pyramid is constructed especially for what purposes so he had, when he understood the pyramid power by that time only by by then he was doing meditation course he was doing meditation he got this meditation teach uh, taught by his own so one of his uh, uh, you know the colleague or whatever in the business in the particular where he was working as a, you know he was doing a job he got it uh, taught by that meditation technique by him then he was practicing meditation meditation he was practicing and he was uh, also seeing lot of results within him and even in fact he could uh, you know he could get all the thought experiences in previous lives everything has visited so as you i was keep on doing it then this pyramid also came into his hand then after experimenting this so why don't we use this pyramid power to the meditation that's what is concept okay of course we have five basic provide the five basic pillars are there for pcs what are the five basic pillars one is especially meditation practice second thing is shakahara 
third one is swadhyay fourth one is sajana sangatya fifth one is pyramid power right so these out of these five pillars of pssm the pyramid power is the one of the best pillar so with which what guruji has taught is we e want to convert entire you know jagat into dhyana jagat we have three goals which is kept by pssm so for all the pyramid masters okay whoever is doing meditation under pyramid so with the philosophy of you know so called pyramid spirituals pssm so they are all they are all they are all called as pyramid masters okay now these pyramid masters what happens is friends so so they will be keep doing meditation they will be keep doing everything all these things they are doing especially so that's how what happens is so when you do meditation under pyramid right under pyramid it is much much powerful how much powerful that's also it is very much experimented so that is actually basically it is powerful three times three times powerful than doing meditation outside see your meditation especially when you do in the forest under the trees near the near the lake near the water your your meditation will be three times more you are, if you do the meditation in the full moon day throughout the full moon day it is three times powerful if you do the same meditation so especially under the pyramid three times powerful isn't it so likewise so there are many many instances many many instances for example if you do meditation with keeping some music with very so like a smooth music if you are doing with that what happen your meditation be three times more effective so likewise friends so doing meditation so in these circumstances is going to be much more effective right so now especially pyramid pyramid that's what i explained to you friends pyramid is the geometric structure which has got uh, i will try to show in the presentation what exactly it is right so now so as uh, guruji started in 1990 that vidya pyramid and then he started experimenting uh, you know like teaching many people under the pyramid meditation everybody has got wonderful experiences all thought experiences and past life experiences and out of body experiences many many things happened so then he uh, finally came to know okay this pyramid has to come everywhere everybody every person in the house they have to construct on the top of the house otherwise have a one two feet by two pyramid in the house otherwise uh, having one uh, uh, water pyramid or a knee pyramid or a high pyramid or a so many so many things right so which you keep on kept on you know uh, kept on determining and uh, identifying the various uh, purposes for the pyramid so he started doing this so now so what he has done is he has started spreading this movement throughout the throughout the andhra pradesh then slowly again come to, came to karnataka came to tamil nadu then slowly it has gone to the all north india now it is spread across the world my dear friends everywhere what happening lot of pyramids have come now i can say like you know the number of pyramids mostly it has reached more than 25 30000 pyramids all over all over world my dear friends so which are constructed by pssm so the pyramid is used for widely for what purposes meditation so the meditation you do within the pyramid is called pyramid meditation friends okay so let's see some of the so some of the few facts through the uh, presentation right yes friends <clears throat> so so as we discussed here so that means the source for source of uh, the energy which all we survive is cosmic energy as we discussed already right so without cosmic energy nothing will survive on this planet my dear friends okay so the same the same way the giza pyramid right the giza pyramid so as i told you already the giza pyramid is the one of the wonders one of the wonders of the world okay why it is one of the wonders because it is surviving more than 10000 years no other structure on this planet it cannot survive more than you know maybe 1000 years or what whatever maybe but 10000 years or not so nothing can be standing but the pyramid is still standing now now also pyramid is standing many people are going to visit the pyramids you can imagine the power of the pyramid isn't it even though not, not much maintenance there right now but still what happened it is able to stand on its own foot right the pyramid is standing for last 10000 years you can imagine how powerful it is right so especially friends why this giza pyramid is powerful so always try understanding any pyramid any pyramid how the power will come is not that you know what metal what one metal you are going to use for making pyramid 
what exactly defines a more permitted energy comes is or having the highest amount of permit within the within itself is by achieving by following something called golden triangle so the golden angle the golden angle is 51 degrees 52 minutes 10 seconds or 25 seconds so that is the value every pyramid construction must ensure if you if you ensure this pyramid angle my dear friends definitely that pyramid will be powerful otherwise of course if it is more variation the less amount of energy comes but the complete energy will not be lost that also you remember right make sure that that angle you follow it at the same time friends so in the pyramid by the you know almost like from the base one third of the height there is a maximum accumulation of the cosmic energy right that place is called king chamber so you can friends a uh, lot of pyramids have come in india and you know a lot of pyramids have come in across the india across the major cities especially in bangalore on the kanpura road we have a mega pyramid also that's called maitreya buddha pyramid friends you can definitely visit and you can have a great experience of meditation under the pyramid. It's a very biggest pyramid. Okay. I will try to give more details of that. So now, friends, what will happen is this pyramid has got two different applications. One is physical benefits, spiritual benefits. What are, what are the physical benefits? See, the pyramid can be used for healing, education purpose by students, preservation of all the items under the pyramid. It will not be damaged. So why it will not damage? Because pyramid has got highest amount of cosmic energy. So when highest amount of cosmic energy is there uh, in the inside the pyramid, whatever you keep inside, that item will be you know, like you know, it will be retained, it will be intact, it won't damage or it won't lose its quality. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, the pyramid has got that is a unique capability to keep everything, whatever is kept inside that. You know, okay, so it will keep very intact and fresh also. That is why, friends, Egypt kings what they have decided is. Because some of them know the power of the pyramid. What uh, you know, we used to say that pyramids means uh, like always we say that mummies will be there, all the dead bodies will be there, isn't it? But that is not the that is not the purpose that pyramid is constructed. Pyramid is not at all constructed by human beings. It's constructed by the other planet beings. Of course, they have got highest technology than us. So we have this uh, so-called uh, internet technology. All this with this itself, we feel that you know we are so great. It's not like that. So, the technology is unlimited. The, that kind of unlimited technology, see, once upon a time, this technology itself is not there, not exist on the earth, right? So, we don't have internet, we don't have anything other than the phone, uh, like in a dialed phone, we don't have anything. Now, technology, so much technology came onto the earth planet, isn't it? So, this is a modern technology. Not only that, human technology is also there. What is the human technology? My third eye power my teleportation, my telepathy, isn't it? And also my astral travel and uh, especially my intuition. All this is a, all this is what? My te human technology. What is the outside technology? Internet, vehicles, right? A lot of satellites, uh, this, all that, all these things are there. That is outer, uh, like a materialistic technology. So we, as a human being, we've got our own technology. So if you started activating all this, right, all the things, if you started activating, definitely you become a, so definitely you will evolve, you know, with respect to your soul, you can definitely evolve. That is possible, very much possible, friends. That is why pyramids have got, pyramids will help you towards the, towards the fast evolution, faster soul evolution. How does it help? Because it provides a lot of energy. Then if you sit and do meditation, you definitely gain three times more powerful cosmic energy than with which, you know, your evolution and the day-to-day -day progress with respect to spirituality, which will be much, you know, much and much will be increased. It's like that, friends. So healing, education, preservation, energy, energy is in the water. Water also. Take the pyramid and put onto the water. What are the water you stored? For a drinking purposes, all these, you know, your bottle or can, just put a one pyramid on the top of that. That's all. So it's going to energize the entire water within the can or within the so that particular thing. It is about two minimum two two hours to six hours. You can keep that like that. Then all the energy will pass into the water. Water will be energized water like that. For the farming also, you can use friends. The farming that means in the field also, I can install the these pyramids. So, Mother Foundation provide that. Mother Foundation has got the capability to produce the pyramids for the farming purposes. That means for the agriculture purposes. That also we do. So, in the agriculture also, if you just provide this pyramid, it raises loss of, of cosmic energy, supply to all the trees, all the 
what are the plants and uh, all the seeds everything get, get the cosmic energy then it will work very much it will, it will be working fine and get more progress and more yield also for the crop right so friends like the spiritual what are the spiritual benefits deep meditation astral body experiences third eye activation these things will happen so as a part of spiritual benefits friends at the same time so always friends try to understand a catalyst what is the catalyst in the chemical science if you add the catalyst to any particular other element the chemical reaction takes place very fast isn't it similarly if you add the pyramid to our life what happened everything will be so fast that means huge amount of cosmic energy will come okay so that's why the pyramid acts like a catalyst for the cosmic energy the cosmic energy comes but it will be stored it will be multiplied all that will happen with the because of the cosmic energy so without without the car without the pyramid i'm telling you friends we could not we could have we could have not arrive to the so-called storing cosmic energy using cosmic energy like you know this particular aspect would have not come to the earth planet if at all pyramid is not there because pyramid is there all this is identified by guruji like you know our guruji brahmanshi patriji he did more number of experiment of course before he came very widely into the pyramids uh, so our osho rajnis our other beloved master osho rajnis in pune ashram also he has already constructed a pyramid for meditation purpose okay that was one idea for uh, our guruji so along with that he has read a lot of books and then identified many many results they te tested also all the things. Then he started introducing the pyramids for meditation. Pyramids for meditation is you know introduced by only PSSM, the entire world, my dear friends. Okay, so that's how you need to understand. So the so especially friends. So this uh, as as I told you, it, it works like a catalyst for the cosmic energy. For example, so how do we say that? How do you believe that there is a cosmic energy exist or not? Isn't it? So that is definitely when you go into the sleep and come out, you'll, you'll only tell, I am feeling so fresh. What is the difference? You just went into the sleep, even not even your physical organs are not working. Nothing is working, yes. So nothing is working in your physical body. But somehow you will get the rest. Isn't it? You'll get a, a very relaxation, deep relaxation you get. And also you get a lot of energy. You know, the, a lot of energy happens. All this happens, friends. All this happens. So definitely through the cosmic energy only it happens, isn't it? So that means the, we can identify that the cosmic energy presence. Then only I get energy. Similarly, for example, sun rays are coming. How do you how do you say that sun rays are coming? The light is the indication that there are there is a lot of sun rays are coming. Otherwise, take one lens, okay? Take one lens, keep the paper under sun and focus the sun rays through the lens onto the paper. The paper will burn. Is that it? That means what? So that entire sun rays are coming to the that lens and it is actually narrow focus and strengthened beam will go on burn the uh, the paper also. It means that kind of amount of sun rays, especially sun rays, sun energy is demonstrated here. Otherwise, sun rays only can see, but you have seen now as a fire. So that is the demonstration of sun energy. Similarly, friends. Whatever the energy comes throughout the cosmos, including sun also, everybody needs the cosmic energy. So presence of the cosmic energy, how do we understand? How do we come to know that there is a cosmic energy? Only, only the way is how to replace the pyramid. Then pyramid is going to similarly how the lens are working, right? How the lens concentrate the sun rays. Pyramid also will bring the all, you know, the entire the cosmic energy through the pyramid. It will be focused and then it will get into the pyramid. It will get into the pyramid, it will stall inside the pyramid. So that's how friends, without pyramid, you can't, you can't definitely uh, like, you know, uh, collect the cosmic energy or you can't receive the cosmic energy. That is why pyramid is very, very essential part. Without pyramid, you could have not come to know about the cosmic energy in this world itself, friends, right? Otherwise, of course, we are, we have, we have cosmic energy. That's why we are surviving. That is one indication. But the pyramid is going to give a the much more demonstration, much more belief will be strengthened because of the pyramid. Okay, friends. So these are the things we try to understand. And crystal using crystals in the pyramid. Yes. So that's also one good thing. What happens when you use a crystal? Especially the crystal, if you place at the top of the pyramid, what are the energy you receive through pyramid? It will, you know, it will go for multiple reflections within the pyramid, isn't it? So then what will happen? So the amount of, you know, the cosmic energy, what is received, which will be much further amplified by using crystals at the, uh, the what is called apex, apex of the pyramid, friends. So likewise, what you need to understand, 
friends all the temples are are garbha gudis and all what the kind of shape it is it is the garbha garbha gudi also like you know the temple garbha gudi is also in the form of pyramid especially in the pyramid i am telling you again the angle is so important so the angle angle of the pyramid slope of the pyramid must be 51 degrees 52 minutes and 10 seconds or 25 seconds which is very very important if you maintain that everything else is done so the temples also looks like a pyramids that's why they receive a lot of cosmic energy friends so like this mega pyramids are constructed pssm so that's i'll show you so pyramid meditation right pyramid meditation is doing a, doing meditation under the pyramid is called pyramid meditation similarly friends so the one of the scientists called the paul brenton he went to giza pyramid and did lot of experiments spiritual experiment and he got the great benefits you know he got a lot of physical spiritual experiences throughout the night he stayed there in the is pyramids at the pyramid throughout the night he is alone person stayed the moment he started the meditation and inside the pyramid he started getting outer body experiences outer body experiences the astral travel was happened and you know lot of his experiences he has got so in the one night you know one night he stayed in the inside the uh, is pyramid they taken the permission from the the so called that government right so that is the thing friends so you need to understand right so now so friends <laughs> the the holistic lifestyle so especially of course so that is not there so mudra therapy all this we try to understand so i mean mudra therapy not exact mudra therapy we try to understand one mudra for today's our topic is diarrhea for that we will try to understand so now these are the contents as a part of pyramid power and pyramid so friends as i told you the pyramid power so it's, 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 itself is very you know highly vibrant and highly positive and it is going to uh, it's going to save god all the life beings on the in this particular in the universe in the on the on this earth planet okay now you can observe here how the pyramid is shaped the four triangles all together all other sides four triangles are fixed to one of the apex right one of the apex so that forms the pyramid right so that means four triangles are isolated triangles and the angle this slope angle is there no slope angle that's what i told that's a golden angle of the pyramid which must be equal to the your easy pyramid then only it works right so that is 51 degrees 52 minutes 52 10 seconds now these are the the mega pyramids are constructed in india so one of the maitreya buddha pyramid constructed in bangalore uh, you know the outskirts of bangalore that is kanakapura road so you can definitely visit pyramid valley international okay and other pyramid this is actually 160 feet by 160 feet okay 160 feet means there's a base of the pyramid. at the same time uh, maheshwara mega pyramid in hyderabad 180 feet by 180 feet that is the base of the pyramid friends so with the because of the see there are formulas to calculate if you know the base of the pyramid i can tell you what is the slope value what is the height right the slope is about uh, the slope of the the slope of the pyramid so basing on the base base of the value we have to calculate base into 0.953 that is the value of the you know so called slope slope or a slope side slope and especially the height height of the pyramid is from the base to the apex so that is so especially base into 0.636318 or something 0.6318 so that is the value so that value defines the height of the pyramid okay so likewise so these things you can try to understand so more uh, more details uh, whenever we conduct a uh, uh, separate workshop on the pyramid construction okay right now these are the pyramids which are available various pyramids are available in so called mahatar foundation friends mahatar foundation so which will give you lot of pyramids you can go through this catalog catalog also right so if you have any questions also there are lot of videos also available in mahatar foundation the mahatar tv where about pyramid we have spoken very lengthily lengthily means like a lot of uh, lot of wisdom is given about pyramid so this now starts one of time otherwise it needs lot of time for you know giving you the complete lecture on pyramid itself okay so go through this also catalog right now what are the pyramids you no know, when you do meditation under the pyramid is called pyramid meditation what are the benefits astral travel outer body experiences you will get okay so that's what i told astral travel means within our within our body there is a astral body that will release and go to the outer so outer planes of existence it will travel different planes also right so that is outer body experience. kundalini energy gets activated what are the energy we have we have hidden within you know the at the muladhara below muladhara muladhara chakra so that energy will be getting activated with the help of this pyramid 
Susumna Nadi gets activated and communication with the higher beings, higher masters, isn't it? Telepathy gets activated, intelligence will be sharpened, all the diseases get healed three times faster, self realization is much easier. Okay. So that, that means in order to realize yourself, so if you keep doing this meditation, you will get self realization or liberation, mokti, moksha, whatever you wanted. Everything will happen because of so this particular pyramid power. Use the pyramid power for meditation all the time. Okay, do that.